Okay, um, material safety data sheets. Please read them. Let me give you the scare first to see if I can keep you. Um, this is auto painting uh, paint, and it can call, give you pneumonia, which can ultimately kill you. Let's jump to uh, one of the ingredients in it so I don't bore you yet. Um, pulmonary, pulmonary edema. Um, and this is the ingredient. See it right here? I won't uh, try to pronounce it, so I won't drop the ball. I can pronounce it in my mind. When you try to say it, it's a tongue twister for me. Moving on. Let's grab a product. Here's a safety data sheet, PPG. It's a single stage hardener. It's ESH 200. It's a liquid form. It's, it's nothing you think. You just pour it in there by that little quantity. Um, you see what it's got here? This is what it looks like. Danger. This is the lung area. This is this is death. Single word danger. I like that. Um, all right. So let's look at it. It has 75 to 90 percent um, ratios of that inside the uh, percentages inside the uh, the little container. Um, this guy here and this guy here look less than one percent. Um, it appears they're just uh, maybe part of it didn't break down to become this deal here. Nevertheless, um, this is your number one concern in this case, which is your hexamethylene diisocyanate. Diisocyanate. Di 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 All right, let's move on from that. You can read the rest if you like. You know what to do. Um, basically, you just have to wear a respirator. Now we come over here to the product here, and you can see its name is here, and they still just refer to it as this. This is 1.6. Scroll back. Okay, so moving on here back to this guy. I'm going to try to hurry this up. Okay, uh, of course it can cause cancer. That's long-term stuff, right? Uh, well, you think it's, we think it's long-term. So moving on. Um, Is, uh, is not ca uh, classified for carcinogenicity. They're not classified. So it's not that they don't classify it, or it's not, it's got a freebie. It's just not classified one, right? So you know, like no information is available. All this stuff can cause your cells to go crazy, but just wear a mask. And this is going to be the, a lot of this uh, stuff is going to be a charcoal mask. If you can smell it when you have your mask on, you're fucked. Get rid of the mask. Change your mask out. Tighten your mask up. Shave a beard if you have one. Change your mask. Do something. If you can smell the fumes while you have a mask on, uh, it's not working. Your mask isn't working. All right. Okay. Acute, short term. Acute means fast, abruptly, uh, at one time. You know, not not long term exposure. And it says the high concentrations. This is based on the person. A, a child. Remember, if you got kids around you, children are more. Uh, you think they're stronger. They're, they're more susceptible to everything that affects us as adults. They are the weaker human, if you will. So uh, keep the kids away. All right. It can cause pulmonary edema, coughing, and shortness of breath. This is just the being nice. In reality, pulmonary edema is pneumonia, basically. You get fluid in your lungs. Um, somewhere in here you should see uh, trauma to the chest wall, um, liver at high elevations. Um, including pneumonia. Here we go, pneumonia. And where's my death one? And I'm going to end this video then. It varies depending on the cause, but generally includes a supplemental oxygen and medications. Um, okay, right here. Can sometimes prove fatal. Outlook, improve, uh, outlook improves when you receive prompt treatment for pulmonary edema. So this can create fluid in your lungs. That fluid can give you a uh, pneumonia, which can evolve, uh, result in your death. So this is why you read your material safety data sheets. If you don't know these products, just highlight them. Put them in a search engine. Um, put them in a search engine um, and click on it and go through each one until you finally get your scare you need. And when you get your scare, back away from it. You know, uh, let's see. Looks like I went here in the Wikipedia. I went here. These are the highlighted old, old ones. These are my sources for this video. Um, this is also an excellent, this NIST web book, this stuff is excellent. Um, National Institute of Standards and Technology, they're great for tracking down chemicals. Um, so, I'm going to end this now. Uh, you can find, I'm um, sorry, with NIST, you would find, um, 
to find the source material also of, of their of these information you click on these are all just clicks switch to calorie based units um, hmm. I'm gonna have wrap this up I'm gonna wrap this up okay. oh let me just wrap it up then 